Okay, here goes a very quick instructional video on how to play the iconic end theme of Making a Murder. Um, we're going to start off with a, an E minor chord. Basic chord. Second fret of the fifth string. Second fret of the fourth string. But on this occasion, just play the bottom three strings. And if you can manage it, put your palm on the the edge here, so you get this muted sound. Now the strumming pattern is, you've got to think in terms of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's one, two, and three, and it's like this. Two, three, and one. To really finish it off, we're going to fret just the 4th string at the 2nd fret and when we strum down we're going to hammer on. So we're going to keep that note down but we're going to hammer on onto the 2nd fret of the 5th string like this. So unmuted, muted. Okay, so that's the, the opening riff. Very, very simple. E minor chord, hammer the second finger onto the second fret. Now we don't need to mute anymore. We're going to continue doing that hammer on as we strum, once again, the bottom three strings. Then we're going to slide up to, now that is the 10th fret fifth string and the ninth fret of the fourth string with fingers two and one so that was Our next bit is really just a C major chord that you should all be familiar with. Third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, first fret of the second string, but we're not playing it there, we're going to slide it up three frets. So we're actually at the fifth, fourth and third fret. And that should be the sound that we'll get. We're just playing incidentally the the middle four strings. And to complete this, this section, we're gonna play with, without the pinky, then we're gonna add the pinky. Just going through what we've got so far. We've got obviously got the muting at the start. Then our C. And add the pinky. Now we're going to go up to the seventh fret of the fifth string and the fifth fret of the fourth string. So coming off our C, slid up two frets. We just slide up to that position and then back. then repeated. Then we get the, the chords with what I call an ascending bass line. We're going to do a D major 
with an F sharp bass. Now, to do that, we're going to stop the bottom string at the second fret. That's going to give us an F sharp. We're going to stop the G string here at the A. And add in the D on the third fret of the second string. So that's a D chord, but with an F sharp bass. We then go up to a G chord, but we only need the two bottom two strings fretted. Third fret of the sixth string, second fret of the fifth string. Uh, we're only strumming the, the bottom four strings. Then we're going to an A minor seventh. Now that's first fret of the second string, second fret of the fourth string. Don't catch the bottom string because that'll ruin the bass line. Next one, the really awkward one, is the B flat chord, which to do as, as a, a nice simple move here, we need to do what I call a double bar A. The first finger needs to do a bar A at the second fret, and then this finger here, I don't know if you can see that properly, you've got to be able to bend it on itself like that, because it's going to go across the fourth fret, but only of the fourth, third and second strings. With that finger clamp there, that'll give you the B flat. So putting it all together, palm muting at the start. a bit on that that F sharp chord I went with the wrong fingers should have been these then the G and then the A minor so I should have really gone so I'm gonna go take myself away and practice that till I get it right that one small. So it's coming off the um I'm gonna have to really practice that bit. that one small. Bit better. Getting better still. Ah no, slowing it down, that helps. Much better. Okay, I think I've got that. Okay, okay. Catch you later. Bye for now.